What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about Fantasy Star Online 2. Today we're talking about crafting the best weapon in the game, the Claws weapon, and augmenting it up to maximum. First I want to say sorry about the video quality. My OBS recorded in 720p as opposed to 2k, so that's why the video looks raggedy. I can't re-record me making the Claws weapon, so it's a big mistake on my part. In the future I'll be sure to fix that and make sure that doesn't happen again, so I apologize about that. The Claws weapon is the strongest weapon in the game, it also has 5 S grade augments, so customizability for your build and your playstyle is insane. The first thing you need to do is make an iron weapon. This drops from the face of the abyss or you can craft it easily using Zig. Then when you get your iron weapon, you need to use enhanced cap plus 1 which are gained from PvP, rainbow keys or from the player shop. If you have an abundance of class X cubes, you can exchange 300 class X cubes for 1 enhanced cap plus 1, but this is weapon specific, unlike the enhanced cap plus 1, the regular one which is usable on any weapon. The other way is crafting 5 more iron weapons or getting it as a drop, however it's much easier just to use those enhanced cap plus 1. That is because when you craft the iron weapon, its grand cap will be plus 30. If you get it as a drop, it will be plus 35. So there are two steps here, getting it to plus 35 and augmenting it using its S grade augment slots. I would highly recommend just adding any S grade augments onto it for now. After you are done with that, you will have an iron weapon with 4 S grade augment slots. From there you need to turn it into the claws weapon. The main thing to look at is the power stone. This is acquired from the mission pass from bidding true profound darkness 50 times. That is the face of the abyss trigger and with the current event. The event gives one power stone granial when you complete 12 urgent quests. This event takes place from March 30th to April 21st so it's not active right now. So after you create your claws weapon you need to up slot 2 8 slots. Your first step will be to augment a special ability factor onto itself or whatever S5 augment you choose. So then you're going to have 5 S grade augments. From there hopefully you are lucky and pass the last 3 augments. Getting the claws to 8 slots is quite easy because the 5 S grade augment slots always have a 100% chance of success even when up slotting. Thus you only need to pass 3 other augments. Then when you get your 8 slot claws you are finally ready to augment. First you need to decide what augments to choose. For most players it will be Guardian Soul, Phrase Decay and any third augment of your choosing. Here are the top tier augments. Crack 5, Ether Factor, Grand Attack, Divine Order, Absolute Glare and Exceed Energy. Now your choice depends on what you want to focus on, New Genesis or our current PSO2. The main thing about these augments is that they transfer to New Genesis when it gets released and here are the stats. So if your goal is to focus purely on new genesis, the best one to pick is either crack 5 or ether factor. However, these two are absolutely terrible in our current PSO2 compared to the other augments. If you take a look at divine order, that is one of the strongest augments in the game with 52 attack, 10 to pp and 20 to hp. 10 pp is insane and a lot of players choose this as their last augment. However, if you look at its transfer stats to new genesis, it is one of the worst augments compared to the other augments. Yes, this is all subject to change and we don't even know if those S grade augments will transfer to New Genesis. So this is all a gamble and in my opinion you should just choose what you want. For me I picked Exceed Energy because it's in the middle. I already have Exceed Receptor so it was a no brainer for me. However, some players might not even have those receptors so it's really up to you to decide what you want to focus on. A solid choice is Grand Attack as it gives 62 attack, 5 to PP and 20 to HP and they can be easily bought on the play market for a decent price. Now after you make that choice and you find your third augment, then you have two methods of making that happen. First method is the one I'm going to be discussing today, and that is using your augment transfer passes. Now before you go and do this, you need to understand that augment transfer passes are insanely hard to get, and if your goal is to have a full set of clause units with 8 godly augments on them, you need 420 augment transfer passes to make that happen. I will be making that unit set as well, so please stay tuned for that video, but for now we're going to focus on the claws weapon set. However, if you don't want to make an 8 slot unit set, then you can easily make this 8 slot claws weapon with 100 transfer passes. How this works is you create a fodder piece with guardian soul, phrase decay if you choose so, however a 5% damage boost on enemies effect with gelin is extremely strong and the augment of your choosing. 
This fodder piece needs to be 4 slot or less because you need to use 4 slot protection capsules and that is acquired by exchanging 10 recycle badges for one of those. 4 slot protection capsules refunds you everything besides Augma aid boosters if you fail so you can try again. There are many recipes to make this happen but this is what I did. Then when I got all those items I just combined them all and created it using Zenesis series as its base. Then when I had all of these fodder pieces I combined them all on a base Zenesis series. This is because its potential at level 3 increases the chance of augmenting by a flat 10%. So when you are augmenting your guardian soul, it has a base chance of success, 10%. Zenesis augment will increase this by 10%, which gives you a 20% chance of success. There is a boost week starting on March 30th that gives a flat 20% boost to augment chance. So with Zenesis 10%, plus the 20% event, plus 5% augment guidance if you add it onto your Zenesis beforehand, plus the base chance of the guardian soul, 10%, that gives you a 35% chance of success. You can also use 40% augmented boosters all the way up to 60% if you have one. It's really up to you to make that decision if you want to use your 45, 50, 55, or 60% augmented boosters. When you have your Zenesis weapon with Guardian Soul, Phrase Decay, and the augment of your choice, you now go to Monica or Dudu and select Augment Transfer. Here you first select your A slot clause weapon and select your fodder item. In this case, it's going to be Zenesis. And Augment Transfer the augments onto your clause weapon. Then you're going to have your final H lock clause weapon. And that's pretty much it. Since clause has 5 S grade augment slots, those are always transferred at 100%, so you don't need to concern those with your other augments. And that's what's awesome about the clause weapon. Because it has 5 S grade augment slots, you can pick and choose any S grade augments on your weapon to fit your build and your needs. This is the first method and the easiest method. The second method is by not using augment transfer passes and that's by augmenting everything to A slots and combining all the augments onto a clause weapon at once. You cannot use Zenesis in this case because Zenesis needs to be the base weapon and if you don't use augment transfer passes, your base weapon will be the clause weapon. However, doing that method is a gamble because like I said before, Guardian Soul has a 10% chance of success. And if you fail, you lose everything unless you have an A slot protection item, which I only have one of those. So there are going to be some people who fail the A slot success and they're going to lose everything and they have to start all over again. But that's just the price you pay by not using Augma Transfer Pass. I will be making another A slot clause weapon in another video using that second method. And I will be also making an A slot godly unit clause set. So if you want to see those videos, Hit that subscribe button to see those in the future. And that's it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in and listening. And until next time.